So to begin, we are going to uh, show you how to enter a service activity that is going to be uh, in the future. And I would like to use my lion to set it up and invite people to attend it. So from the uh, lionsclubs.org site, I'm going to select the MyLCI My Lion login. And I'm going to log in with my Lion account. And when I get to the My Lion suite of products, I'm going to go ahead and click in Go for My Lion. And on my club screen, I am going to select New Activity. From the options of the type of activity, I'm going to select Service Activity and click Continue. The causes available are hunger, environment, childhood cancer, diabetes, vision, and other. My club is going to do an Easter basket assembly for children in a hospital. So I am going to select other and continue. On the activities page, I'm going to enter the details of the activity. We are going to do this service activity on the 17th at noon. And we're going to be done by 1 o'clock. I'm going to type in the description of the activity. We prepared and delivered 24 Easter baskets to Hinsdale Hospital Pediatric Ward. I think I'll change my name from Easter Basket Assembly to Easter Basket um, Easter Baskets for Pediatric Ward at Hinsdale Hospital. And privacy, who can see this, it's okay if everyone can see this, meaning anyone who searches activities anywhere in the world will be able to see that we've done this activity. If I wanted to, I can keep it private with just in my club, or I can just make it only me. I would select that if I was only doing a draft today, but since I'm entering the actual activity, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as everyone. And who can join? Anyone, any Lion or Leo, and invite only. I'm going to say invite only on this one because it's really a smaller activity and I'm only going to be inviting my club members. And then after I enter my details, I select continue. If I did have a picture, I could put it in there, but I won't have a picture until after we deliver the basket. So I'm going to click continue for now. This is the invite page where I can invite people to join our activity. I only want to invite my club, which is listed at the very top of the first column. If I select this, I should see all of my members in my club listed in the invite section. If I knew somebody outside of my club that I wanted to invite, I could search for them individually and invite them as well. I know that um, a person in another club, and the name is Rodwell, and I can see him down here, oops, right here if I wanted to invite him. But I'm not going to today, so I'm going to go ahead and only invite 
my club members. And notice it says that invites are sent when clicking continue. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue. If I wanted to delete people that I didn't want an invitation sent to, I could simply select this X and remove them from the list. And I know that um, one of these people will not be able to make it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete. And then I'm going to continue. And I'm almost done. Here on the um, review screen, I've already completed all the steps to create an activity in the future. Selected my cause, the type, entered the details, I've invited people, and now I'm previewing it. I'm almost done. Notice the title here, the date, and the time. The cause was other, and the activity owner is myself. Here's the description of the activity, and here are all the people who I've invited. Uh, notice there's several pages, so I could certainly page through if there uh, are more than contained on the screen. And then down here is the location. I think later I'm going to come in and, and update this uh, to be the actual hospital once I get the hours of how long it takes to go to the hospital and drop off the baskets. So for now I'm going to submit it. And what that does is it logs the activity it sends the invites and uh, it gets it um, ready to prepare for reporting once the activity is passed. Um, it tells me that I'm finished, your activity has been created, and your invite sent. I'm going to click continue and it lands me on my activity list where I can now see this current activity as upcoming on April 17th and um, it stays here until I can update it and edit it. And that is how you enter a new activity in the future.